you're saying. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no escape. Uh huh. It's a strong energy there. I can believe it. Yeah. But to me, most healing is a strong energy. Uh, when your life is in need of help, that's a strong energy. And if you will tap in to that energy, the, the very energy that we usually need in healing is already there. That we don't need to go any place else other than what it is that needs healing. We just need to liberate that energy. So do you do other, thing, other things in nature besides running the river? Um, I do a lot of a lot of hiking, yeah. you know, and, and, and a lot of uh, just enjoying nature. Yeah. I mean, na nature restores my soul. Sure. Uh -huh. I'm thinking that you're saying you, you create these transformational trips. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, you know, we have workshops and so forth. We'll take people out for several days, you know, we might just canoe on a very gentle river. We might go up into the mountains for a while. Uh, you know, it really depends on time of year and what we're into and what we want to do and what the people want to do. Yeah, that's uh, that not way. the principal focus of your life right now. You're no, you've been involved with pure synergy. I think. Right, that that business is. But I I tend to work on the business from around seven in the morning to seven at night. I, I have a pretty full schedule, pretty full life. So you don't? How long? Do you, you sleep at all? I, when I get an opportunity to, I adore sleeping. Uh, but these days, I'm I'm three, four, five hours is is luxurious sleep for me. I'm just you know at at, at a full schedule right now. And will be for some time. Does it require uh, someone having to have be in touch with a healer, or is it possible to to heal? You know, being friends with someone just to create healing circles among yourselves is. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I I am not at all necessary for someone to be healed, or a healer is not necessary. Um, it's it's you know I have been so restored and healed by friends. Just their love, their support, their affection, their care, or or their specific energy of just you know directing energy you know in in my way. Because um, I think there's something you know that to be learned here in the sense of you know you have this remarkable story and remarkable mm -hmm. life experience. Um, you know your journey is quite mm -hmm. remarkable, and there's this myth around healing that somehow we need to find the right person that's gonna gonna heal us, gonna make us better. Mm -hmm. And this is particularly true, I think, of 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 those of us who come in touch with, you know, threatening, life-threatening yes. situations, the kind of thing where where conventional medicine is not working and you're, you know, you're really looking for something mm -hmm. and it's like this kind of quest for something else. And what, you know, what I hear you suggesting uh, is that somehow it's inside. It's, it's, Michael, it's very sad to me that in our culture somehow healing has been set up as something very special, separate, and ordained. And that it's not just inherent in who we are. And it's just not a part of what is absolutely natural and normal to do. And I'm all for that educational process starting, you know, much earlier on. Certainly when we learn any kind of skill, it's often nice to have a, a guide or a teacher or, or someone who's sort of been part of the way and they can give us some pointers. But that's simply so that point is so that we can have our own experience. If, if a healer has made you dependent on them, that's not healing to me. You know, the healing is to teach someone to do it for themselves. It's probably because we've all been trained in, in conventional medicine to, you know, look for the right doctor mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, well, which doctor's going to help me most. And mm -hmm. I think we kind of transfer that over to complementary medicine. An alternative healing in the same way, where we look for the right healer. Or look, we do know. it with everything, the right plumber. Yeah, you know, right, exactly. We, we, yeah. we don't feel that we can do this ourselves. We specialized everything, yeah. and to to make a healer as if somehow they're extra special. They're not as human. They're not as the same kinds of life dilemmas that everybody else has, or they know the answer to life any better than anybody else. To me, that very myth needs to be healed. Um, I, I, I've never found anybody who doesn't have the healing capacity as much as I do. It's just that this is my art, and so, like a musician, it's something I'm really into, so I've, you know, I really, I practice it all the time. But th that's all it takes. I'm, 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 I'm not born with anything that, that anybody else isn't born with. Yeah. But one of the things I sense from talking with you is that um, somehow in your life that you don't, I mean, no, don't make a lot of plans or that you live your life in a way that is more um, spontaneous, perhaps, or 
that you're trying not to control your life in some way? You Can know, you talk about that? Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of touching around the edges here. But. No, you're on to it. Um, I think in going so deeply into my healing experience, I found it is the mystery of life itself where the healing takes place and, and where the, the thrill of life is in that unknown place. And so for me, I like to leave my life available to go into that mystery. I never know. That doesn't mean I didn't make plans to fly out, you know, to California or to eat supper and things like that. But what happens inside those experiences, I don't like to plan. And, and that to me is, is what I try to help people with with the healing, is let's go have an experience and let's see what happens because life does the healing. Life seems to somehow know what to do. It's when I interfere with that and I think I know what to do that I complicate my life. <laughs> and um, so I, I, I just, I love being in the mystery. That, that, that's to me where, where, where the passion of life is. I, mean, I think most of us um, want to control our situation. Mm -hmm. We want to be in control. We want to feel like we're in control. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a real challenge to let go. Yes, it way. is. Yeah. It is. And I, I feel like a lot of the ideas in, in a lot of New Age healing today is to think that you can control everything. You know, perfect health, perfect body, perfect this, and that, you know, everything is regimented and there's a reason for everything. I, I don't subscribe to that myself. That, that, the so mystery when you goes hear this everywhere. thing about you create your own sickness, that kind of thing, you don't believe in that. I, I don't go in for that. Certainly there's an element that we are total participatory, but we're in a relationship here, a relationship with forces beyond what we know, the physical forces, uh, emotional forces, environmental forces, and I would say psychic and spiritual forces. And to say that we are in control of those, to me, is based on fear. You are afraid of life, so you want to try to control and create everything instead of going and having a relationship and seeing what happens in your life. So, no, I don't, I, I believe we can certainly influence, and it's a very worthwhile thing to learn how to hold ground, how to influence, how not to let certain forces knock you around, and nutrition, and God, on and on, you know, to how to clear your mind, all, all of those things. But beyond all that, to attempt to control one's life, to me, is the ultimate illness. Yeah. I want to go back to um, your development of Pure Synergy, this nutritional supplement. Um, did you do a lot of experimentation on your, I mean, I, I imagine you did on yourself. Absolutely. Uh, herbs and different things. There was one period in my life where I lived for two years on, on the uh, preliminary uh, end of this formula, just to see what it would do to my state of consciousness, what it would do to my physiology, and then I spent many years working with several physicians and herbalists to refine it further and further. Now, let's say that again. You live for two years just on this powder. Yes. yes. That means essentially, it looks I, like I a powder. I would not recommend that. I, you yeah, know, right. that, that was in an experimental stage, uh -huh. and I used it at a quantity greater than what most people would use it. Uh -huh. But I was tracking to see what effect it had. Uh, in in my physiology, in my consciousness. So I would know, was it exactly what I wanted? What's in it? it it's a combination of very rare algaes, organic dried juices from spring harvested juices, uh, very powerful and beautiful uh, and balanced Chinese herbs, five rare oriental uh, organic mushrooms, uh, various uh, vegetarian enzymes are in it, some freeze-dried Western herbs. I'm real meticulous in how it gets created and prepared. So how did you find out which rare Chinese mushroom to use? I mean, I imagine you're kind of <laughs> taste-testing 2,000 different mushrooms to find the right I, one. I, I made some uh, some boo-boos along the way with myself, trying different things, but... Um, I'm really a believer in using, you know, our own our own laboratory, meaning our own body, you know, for myself in an experimental way. Plus, I, I accessed a lot of friends I have who are medical doctors and Chinese herbalists and acupuncturists and nutritionists, you know, to to get their take 
on what you know might be something to to use, and then the, the the precise combination of it to get the pure synergy effect of it, and then how how you uh, harvest it and how you prepare it is is absolutely critical, so that the life force is still active. So and, this is this is also grown for for you and oh and yes oh yes you do the whole everything from start to yes, scratch. Yes, it's it's a it's quite a process to make it happen. Just and then we vacuum it, seal it, and put it in glass, and we won't let anything that's not recycled be part of the product, and on and on. Now, does this product require FDA approval in any way? No, but we had to. Uh, you know, comply with all FDA regulations. Uh -huh. So we, you know, that that took us quite a while to make sure that we weren't overstepping any boundaries that way. And so we're, you know, playing it straight the whole way with that one. So this is a this is a supplement that one would use in their um, in their daily life to to do what? The, the main focus of this product is really a life force enhancer. It really uh, restores one so that their 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 fire, their inner fire, will be developed without any false uh, stimulants or any false energy. You, the energy builds over time, authentically from within the body. And um, partly, I, I started making it available because I couldn't be with all the people who wanted me to do the healing work. And so I needed some way of of offering something to people that could, in some way, assist them. Uh, to get the you know the most at that level, yeah. um, I wouldn't want to pretend that this you know is a cure all type sure, of thing. Of course, yeah. It's just uh, if you're if you're serious about you know new, supplementing your 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 diet, this is definitely the way to go. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to uh, where you live sure. in Utah. Um, there are lots of rocks. Yes. Tell me about your relationship and your connection <laughs> with rocks. <laughs> well, I live at the base of a cliff that goes up about a thousand feet of solid rock and I just love it there it, it the rock emanates for me the color is a is a pretty rich red so it has that emanation it has all of this evolutionary energy in it it has that communication and rocks move very slow and sometimes my mind moves very fast and so when I go lay out on a rock and I can tap into the speed of the rock, my mind slows down. And when my mind slows down, I'm much happier. When my mind speeds up, I'm not a really happy person because, you know, I'm thinking of all the things that I have to do and go and be and trying to figure out life. And when I slow down, life just is. I'm not trying to uh, figure it out. And uh, There's something about uh, basically the, the environment you live in is a desert-like environment. Yes. Um, tell us about the desert. I mean, I asked you before this interview, mm -hmm. how do you get along without green? And you told me. Well, the, de the me? desert to me is, is uh, absolutely uh, fantastically alive. It's just a matter of learning to pay attention to where that aliveness is. Out in California here, you see it everywhere. There's so much lushness. Out in the desert, you need to pay a little more attention. And for me, that's part of what I'd call my spiritual practice. It helps me learn to pay attention to more and more subtle things. So my senses are very alert. And when you see something in bloom, it's like a treasure. And so you're sort of in awe of it because it's, it's rare. And when, when there's water in the desert, you know, it's really an oasis. And you really sort of feel and are so grateful and thankful because without the water, you wouldn't be able to live. Right. And so this uh, relationship develops between you and the natural forces. And it's very easy for me to see how native cultures developed a system of gratitude for these natural forces and actually thanked them. To me, it's no different than thanking a, a human being, you know, for, for, for having you over for dinner or bandaging a wound. Uh, you thank them. Why not? Thank a tree or thank a plant or thank a stream for giving you something. I don't mean necessarily with words, but from the heart. Sure. Um, gratitude, when one offers gratitude, one is healed of many things. And then life tends to respond by giving you more. Because I think life feels that gratitude and likes it. Just like we do. Yeah. We've had a guest on New Dimensions, uh, Brother David. David Stondelrast, he's a Benedictine monk who, who uh, says he 
uh, his practice is gratefulness. Ah. Oh. And uh, he says that's that starts when he wakes up in the morning, mm -hmm. grateful for waking up, mm -hmm. and it goes on from there. Mm -hmm. And he talks about the all the thing, the small things, the small yes. in life that to be grateful for that we sort of take for granted. That sort of. Uh... If I can, leads me into uh, what our story is. Many of us, you know, have these stories in our life that our life doesn't work or life hasn't been fair, and they may even be true. But if that's your story, that's sort of how you end up relating with everyone and everything, and so that's what you get back from life. And what Jack really, one of the major things he taught me was changing my story. And when I changed my story, geez, you know, my life changed. And people started coming into my life, you know, that were offering me things because my story included that. that it's, like, it's like changing your worldview. It's yes. like changing your, yes. the way the world works. Mm -hmm. And we're, most of us are not taught how to play with our story. And we don't even know where we got our story from. Yeah, we just right. accept it. Exactly. And um, I'm, I'm really in favor of, and we live in an era where changing our story is getting easier and easier. So let's imagine for a moment, and we only have a moment or two left to us here in this dialogue, someone wants to change their story. Mm -hmm. What would be a step to take? Well, the first place that I would take is to take a look at first what your story is. And you can see that by how your life is. And if there's anything about one's life that isn't working, then that's a place where you want to start changing your story. And to start imagining your life is how you would like it to be and begin to act on that imagination. It can be in just the smallest of ways. When I was uh, not able to walk and I had a cast on and they said my legs would atrophy and on and on, I played in my imagination kick the can for hours on end because I loved as a kid playing kick the can. And I, I played that story out and I played the story that I would be able to play kick the can for the rest of my life. I mean, that's, this is one small way. And to let your body actually feel it, not just in your mind. Really let the whole kinesthetic body feel whatever it is, the changes that you want to have begin to take place in your life. Because it needs to enter the body. That's where the juiciness is, and that's where the acting out and the living out in the everyday world is. Mitchell, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Likewise. We hope you have enjoyed this recording. Mitchell's research into the healing potential of life force, energy fields, and energetic nutrition continues to the present day. His work, coupled with his extensive clinical experience in the healing arts, led to the creation of the Synergy Company and the development of his unique, life-supporting, certified organic nutritional formulas. The original Certified Organic Pure Synergy Superfood formula that Mitchell and his mentor Jack created well over 30 years ago, which helped Mitchell heal, has since helped thousands of people worldwide. It is this formula that is produced every day in the exact same manner and spirit by the Synergy Company at their award-winning and wind-powered Certified Organic Production Facility located in the pristine Red Rock Canyon near Moab, Utah. Mitchell's research and goals in developing his bioactive and whole food organic supplements is to help foster and support the optimum health and wellness for as many people as possible. Those of us who work with Mitchell liken his products to a book in a bottle. In other words, instead of writing a book about his life-altering healing event, Mitchell has chosen to translate this experience directly into the energetic and health-supporting nutritional formulas he creates. In addition to Pure Synergy, Mitchell has also developed several other uniquely beneficial organic supplement products, all of which are made available exclusively through the Synergy Company. For more information about the Synergy Company and its life-enhancing products, please contact us toll-free at 1-800-723-0277. We also invite you to visit our website at thesynergycompany.com where you'll find an interesting array of information that we hope will be of great value to you as well. From all of us at the Synergy Company, we wish you the very best of health and happiness.